Hello, and welcome to the Unshaping Porter tutorial for Omniverse in Isaac Sim. In this video, I'll show you how to prepare your Unshape assembly to take full advantage of the physics conversion. So when we put it on Omniverse, you'll have a functional robot hierarchy ready to be worked on. To get started, we'll use this document that contains a set of parts for the robot and create a new assembly. Let's begin with the gripper subassembly. We create a new assembly and name it Robot Hand. We start by adding the hand and the two grippers. These parts already have mate connectors, so we can just go ahead and create the slider mates. We must always follow the forward kinematics of the robot when making mates. So we begin with the palm connectors and add the fingers connector second. Then we set up the joint limit to the minimum of 0 and maximum of 3.5 cm. We do that for both fingers and ensure that everything is correct. Now, to create the robot, we create a new assembly and name it Robot Base. Let's start by adding the robot base in the first shoulder and then creating the mates between them. To make sure that the robot doesn't move when we make the mates, let's fix the robot base in place. Those parts also already have mate connectors, so let's connect the base mate out to the shoulder mate in. Let's set the joint limit to minus 180 to 180 degrees. Now we add the second shoulder and repeat the mate using the first shoulder out and second shoulder in, making sure that we point the secondary axis so that our second shoulder points the direction that we want. To add the arm extension, we configure it to have 35 centimeters and then select the cylinder and click add. We want it to be fixed to the second shoulder, so let's create a fastened mate. Select on the second shoulder out and the arm extension face. Then we create another shoulder to connect to the extension and repeat the process but use the opposite end of the shoulder to connect to the arm. And now we keep adding the rest of the robot arm, making sure that the second extension is only 25 centimeters instead of 35 until we get to the point where we add the final gripper. And just like in the rest of the robot, we add the joints between the output of the shoulder and the base of the hand, making sure that we follow the direction of the robot hierarchy. Then we make sure that all the joints are in the pose zero, and if they are not, we just added them and make sure that we reset them to zero. Now that all the parts of the robot are in, uh, we can simplify the process of import by com combining all the parts that are moving together in the mate groups. We can rename the groups uh, to represent what they are in the robot. So for example here, the upper arm and the lower arm for the group of shoulders that make up those parts of the arm. And to avoid the on shape uh, errors, we can suppress the fasten mates that put them together, but I would suggest not to remove them because if you want to make changes to the robot, those fasten mates will help you with keeping the robot together. And if you follow those steps correctly, your assembly will be ready to be imported into Isaac Sim. 